this is another demonstration of um, my uh, uh, voxel terrain editor I've made a little bit of progress since last time last time I just had a single uh, mesh and now I have a grid of meshes so that when you update it only has to update um, the surface that's uh, in the affected grids and the grids are all kind of lined up now I also added um, if we go to the inspector um, a, uh, a build radius and you can sort of build or dig here so for example here the uh, the, sh the the kind of solid model was going above the, the grid squares uh, and that's why the uh, the surface was opened at the top can change the the radius of the thing that we add as well oh I'm still in dig mode change back to build mode probably it makes sense to actually have the dig versus build mode and the radius uh, here on the um, scene view so we can see that it is a sort of voxel terrain so it's not a, a convex shape um, so uh, one of the things that was a little bit tricky was getting these components to line up um, and I got them to line up by uh, computing one set of cubes beyond the edge of the um, of the square and that way because uh, the center points of uh, each of the cubes is dependent on the neighborhood so if you go one more uh, then uh, both sides will compute um, the uh, the same volume um, the other thing is that uh, any objects in the underlying geometry th that are near the boundary need to be added to the uh, geometry objects for both squares um, so let's see that we'll uh, we can turn this guy off so you can see the geometry there is lining up uh, exactly um, and go to grid array and then we're in build mode so we can build here perhaps at the moment it seems like the first click does a uh, select in the scene view and then the second uh, click actually does a build uh, seems like it um, yeah it's just an oddity to do with the editor uh, probably it would make more sense to have the build operations be like a shift click instead of a uh, an individual click okay well that's it for this demo